Attenuated Patella Alta, Wikipedia Article Audio Attenuated Patella Alta is an extremely rare condition affecting mobility and leg strength. It is characterized by an unusually small kneecap that develops out of and above the joint. Normally, as the kneecap sits in the joint, it is stimulated to growth by abrasion from the opposing bones. When not situated properly in the joint, the kneecap does not experience such stimulation and remains small and undeveloped. Note that the cartilage under and around the kneecap is eight times smoother than ice, so abrasion may not be the best term. A similar condition, patella alta, can occur as the result of a sports injury, though the large majority of the time it is a congenital-slash-developmental condition that is unrelated to trauma. A kneecap in an alta position sits above the trochlear groove and therefore is less stable. The patellar tendon that connects the kneecap to the tibia is elongated. This cannot happen by way of trauma, unless there has been a rupture of the tendon and a less than optimal surgical repair. There has been only one documented case of the disorder noted from birth. In 1988, three-year-old Eric Rogsted of Minneapolis, Minnesota was discovered to suffer from the condition in both knees after several attempts by his parents and family physician to discover the cause of his abnormal difficulties with walking and running. After surgery and physical therapy, Eric gained the ability to walk and run without significant difficulty. In sal ratio, this ratio is calculated with the knee flexed to 30 degrees. It is the ratio of the length of the patella to the length of the patellar tendon. Normally this ratio is 1 colon 1 but 20% variation represents patella alta or patella inferro. Actually, the insal salvati ratio can be measured at any degree of flexion, which is one reason for its popularity.